looking for TV 20. He was a pioneer in Bay Area broadcasting who staked out field after field of firsts. November 19, television becomes smellow vision. Smell what you see on TV. 3D movies are coming to TV 20. All the while making waves. Airwaves, that is. But lurking in the shadows was a burdensome thought. How would he make his station stand out? So kick back and have a drink on us. God, are you happy? And meet the man who transformed the Bay Area's little station that could into the big station that did. On TV20, Behind the Coffee. This may look more like an auto parts warehouse than a TV station, but what owner James Gabbard did behind these walls changed not only the fortunes of Channel 20, but also the face of TV in the Bay Area. Hi, I'm Steve Fulham from San Francisco. Jim Rockford and the Rockford Files are coming up next, right here on TV 20. It was the channel that no one watched. The picture was bad, the programming was worse, and the station didn't even show up in the rating books. But the unbounded zeal of James Gabbard turned it all around. We came in with better audio, better, I mean, just really superior quality that caught your attention. And we were light years ahead of anybody in the market at that time. And nothing Gabbard did professionally was inferior. First taking a small AM station with a staff of two to a top rated powerhouse within just two years. Success found Gabbard at the top of the heap. He was ready for a new challenge. You could sense that there was a revolution in the video starting. And I wanted to be in the beginning of it. And begin he did. It was here in Sausalito Harbor that Gabbard began designing his empire aboard his 85-foot yacht aptly named Defiance. Defiance summed up his attitude toward traditional television. The people who've been doing it for years, and I call them the dinosaurs or the stone tablet guys, and let me tell you, Moses, the television Moses, came down from the mountain with a lot of stone tablets. Thou shalt not, thou shalt not, thou shalt not in television. And we said, we're going to be different. One nice thing about owning your own TV station is that you're the boss. The only people he had to answer to were his viewers. But first, he had to get their attention. We've got what you're looking for. TV 20. TV 20. One way was with animals. It started as a joke one time. We were looking for just for an ID one day, and I was sitting there, and my dog, Whiskey, was... Um, I put him in a chair real quickly, and we just shot one. And all of a sudden, people started running postcards. How do I get my pet on TV? And it's turned into where every Saturday now, there's a line of pets coming in. Now, I assume that you all have your magic glasses on. They really are magic. For his next venture, Gabbard purchased a half million 3D glasses. But would this crazy scheme work? A contract is a contract. They will work. Informality was the mantra, reflected in the station's canine population roaming freely about the building. And informality was reflected in James Gabbard himself, but call him Jim. I'm going to be dressed like you are watching me on your couch with a beer. Host of the all-night movies, a casual get-together between Jim and the viewer. It's, as much as it's this time of the morning, we're going to have to all go down to Palo Alto right now and get some more ribs. When we come back, the revolution will be televised, but looming on the horizon, a new player who would threaten it all. They're America's first family of funny. What are you doing? Cutting the grass. Tyler Perry's House of Pain, weeknights at 6 and 6.30 on Coffee TV. Oh, he's got your nose. The dogs are back. Well, yeah. By the early 1980s, TV20 was still in its born-again infancy. The coffee revolution had begun. Telecon in the Bay Area. From the first seeds of vision sprung roots of creativity. And before long, TV20 grew into a tree of unique programming that branched out everywhere. And now, here's your host, James Gabbard. 
Marching to the beat of his own drum, Gabbert launched Dance Party. It was American Bandstand with hometown appeal. We're live from the San Mateo County Fair, and we're going to shake, rattle, and roll. Join us live! Where mom and dad, friends, and neighbors could all twist and shout. Gabbard would step back and let viewers take the spotlight as they dance their way into Bay Area living rooms and into people's hearts. Even getting a nod from a national icon. Now, in San Francisco, you, you know a guy that is a friend of mine, Jim Gabbard? Yes. What's the name of the show? Copy Radio, and it's uh, Dance, Party. Dance Party. On television, not the radio station, that's Channel 20. Hey, you want to be a millionaire? Listen very carefully now. I'll tell you what you do. If promotional stunts were the lifeblood, TV 20 was at the heart. I want to be a star. And for over 20 years, Coffee pulled off some of the most daring promotions ever. Somebody has just become a millionaire. <sighs> Raymond Pacetti, you got yourself a million dollars. <laughs> Always finding a niche, Gabbert sought to make every coffee endeavor a first. We're in the 49ers parade. While the other stations were able to bring you live coverage of the parade, we're in the parade. And if it wasn't a first, it was always unique. I know I can't tell you to cancel your subscription to the Chronicle, but I'll tell you what we can do with our Chronicles, and that's this. Wrap a fish and throw it away. The future was bright for Coffee TV 20. But in the distance, storm clouds were gathering. And as if an apocalyptic sign, it began to rain. Frogs. The appeal of network programming, fresh faces, and fresh money. All gave the frog a leg up and finally made Gabbard an offer he couldn't refuse. Before he could say Calaveras County, the WB Network jumped aboard. When we come back, new call letters, wild antics, and a sudden departure. It's always sexier the second time. Baby! Desperate Housewives. Saturdays at 8, Sundays at 10 on Coffee TV. The dogs are back. Hell yeah! Coffee was now KBWB. The name may have changed, but the shenanigans continue. Hey, get, get out! No, no. Mornings were literally wild. But was TV20 finally going to the dogs, or had it bitten off more than it could chew? Viewers would never know. Gabbard woke up and smelled the coffee. Cashing in on success, he knew every dog has its day. But if a door had closed, a window had opened and ushered in a new audience for TV 20. Next week, a frog croaks and a new brand of coffee is brewing. I'm Kat Sadler and Coffee TV is back. Bubbling hot on TV's front burner. I grew up with TV 20, but it's not just about the past. TV 20 is about the future. Bolder and stronger than ever and ready to wake up Bay Area viewers once again. Welcome back, Coffee. Coffee is back. It's great you're here. Bumper King, you could win a million dollars. Bumper King. Oh, free for dinner? Right this way. <laughs> My goodness, why not? What the hell? What the f you know? John, are you happy? Oh, I'm so happy. Visit the Price Nasher. We love TV20. I grew up with TV20, but it's not just about the past. TV20 is about the future. 